This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Good morning gamers. Have you ever committed a felony? Actually, I don't want to know the answer to that. Don't let me know in the comments. I consider myself an ethical person. I have a sense of right and wrong, if I may. <laughs> this is good. This is bad. This is... Unfortunately, for anyone with a moral compass, there exists a virtual reality title called Ghosts of Tabor, a game which codifies the idea that morals are relative, but profit is not. I ask you to look at this scene. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight, losing my religion. We're going to come back to this moment as we discuss the catastrophe that ensued. But you know where there's never been a catastrophe? A large fleet of ships designed for war. Do not fact check that. This video is sponsored by World of Warships. I could tell you all about what this game has to offer, but I'm not the one who says it best. Download World of Warships using the link in the description, and use the code WARSHIPS to get a fat wad of doubloons, credits, premium account time, and an entire warship for the deceptively low cost of free. The game's got small boys, mid fellas, big daddies, and even two. There's over 500 ships, 40 Crazy. maps, 20 ports, and one of these. This is a certified hood. If you hated every second of that, I could not care less, because World of Warships releases new content every single month. Did I mention the game is available on consoles as well? I know I didn't. The script is right in front of me. Here's a test. Which of these two videos is from World of Warships? That's how good the graphics are. Again, download using the link in the description with code WAR, and I cannot stress this enough, SHIPS for all the neat things listed on screen. Thanks again to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. The objective of Ghosts of Tabor is simple. First you get the money, MONEY, then you get respect. <laughs> Question, how? Answer, shrewd diplomacy. Alright, alright, stay back here. Stay behind this rock. Keep your gun on his head. I'm gonna attempt to communicate. Hey, what's good, dog? Hey, you friendly? Are you just taking in the sights? Well, I wish you the best, man. Tabor is what the internet calls an extraction shooter. You may have heard of similar titles like Escape from Tarkov, Space Escape from Tarkov, and Louisiana. Oh, but full disclosure, I haven't played any of these, so I'm not going to draw comparisons. Anyway, in Tabor, everything can be sold, everyone can be killed, and the island is simultaneously a shared communist utopia and a stand your ground state. Let's try and negotiate. Parlay? I seek, I seek a parlay. Is Ghosts of Tabor good? I genuinely do not know. Gentlemen, I've heard your steps increase in speed. May I offer you a part of If you buy the game on Steam, it will give you the option of either playing the Oculus mode or Steam VR. I am told if you choose the Oculus mode, the game is pretty good. If you choose Steam VR mode and also happen to be epileptic, this game will literally kill you. This isn't a bit, you will not survive. I appreciate the developer's commitment to a sense of real danger in the game, but disagree with the design choice of not fixing the issue of paralyzing screen shaking and ever so slightly delayed response time to head movements. Hey Confusingly, this issue is not visible while the game is streamed and recorded, making Ghosts of Tabor the only VR game that looks better in 2D than in the headset. The game has a tutorial, which is mostly a flashbang simulator, Oh god, shut up! Jesus, you can't walk anywhere in this tutorial without this dude popping out of the ground in front of you. So I don't recommend that mechanic. The game has a ton of guns, all of which feel extremely clunky, so I partially recommend that mechanic. Look, VR games have plenty of issues. Here we go. This is not a safe way to hold a firearm. I actually enjoy how messy they are. Many gamers, upon playing a fun, but certainly scuffed, 
Please, God. ...video game fall into the same trap as the average Redditor browsing that subreddit exclusively composed of police mugshots of e-girls, who, in the most desperate of tones, mumble, I can fix her. One, she never asked for that, and two, you can't. So it goes with the Redditor, so it goes with the gamer. Would that it were so simple, the devs would have fixed the game. This brings us to the best part of the game and the worst thing I've ever done. The looting mechanic is outstanding. It turns men into mice, scurrying about the island, screaming and fighting, trying to get that cheddar. Oh, 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 oh. Sir, may I have one of your firearms? Thank you. I appreciate you doing this. Just looking down the sights, just having a look-see. Hello. Do you have another magazine for the SKS you've given me? That was, that was awful kind of you. Stay in school, kid. When you successfully reach an extraction point, you return to your mouse hole and are given the privilege of filling your filthy mouse walls with whatever you could hold in your arms, backpack, and plate carrier. You can then use these tools the next time you return to the island to seek out better loot. Daddy, chill. With the assurance that this time you have a rifle and they might not. Oh god. And yet, every time you leave the island, you have to ask yourself, is it possible that what I thought was a rusty lead pipe in that dark bunker back there was actually a Barrett M82 50 caliber anti-materiel rifle? And of all sad words of mice and men, the saddest are, it might have been. And just like that, you've been playing the game for three hours. So, to better improve my chances of survival, I recruited a team of elite gamers from the Spice Market Discord, none of which included Demon, Dact78, or Russell935, who I am now asking to delete your channel memberships. And for the rest of you, stop subscribing, do not hit that bell, this has all gone way too far. One of which was audibly a child. Oh my god, how many bullets can he take? This did not sit well with me, as I am an ethical person, and I can be trusted to make good ethical decisions in combat scenarios. Is that a human being? You bet I won't go snap his neck. Go do it, you got it. Look at him go. Oh my god, Jesus you got it. Jesus Christ. Directing a child soldier is not an ethical thing to do. <laughs> Holy shit. But after researching the matter, I found that we were not in fact soldiers, but were in fact private military contractors. And also, I can't point to Geneva on a map. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. Cut that from the video. Anyway, the kid's connection timed out like 30 seconds later. So we continued on our mission, guilt-free. That was until, after looting an empty hospital, my teammates stumbled upon several firearms of notable value. <gasps> You okay? I am better than okay. So, I found myself at a moral crossroads. I ask you to put yourself in my place. Which do you value more? Your reputation as a reliable internet shisa poster or a Steyr Aug A3? Alright, don't shoot, don't shoot. Just get to the shoreline here and uh, get out of here. Movement, movement, hey, hey. Uh, southeast, up in that watchtower. Chat's saying don't shoot. That's a military base. I swear I just saw somebody to the southwest up in that window. Oh, okay, okay. One just came out, one just came out. He was heading our direction. I don't know how far they pathfind. Oh, behind, behind, behind. Run, run, run to the X-Fill. Run to the X-Fill, let's get out of here. Didn't even give him a chance. Nicely done, man. That's another loose end. Ghosts of Tabor is an early access game and it very much feels like it. But when everything is working, it allows you to do great and terrible things. Thank you to those on screen, the coriander connoisseurs, and the pepper peddlers of the spice market. Do not trust a word I say, and I'll see you all on stream.